Hi guys, welcome to the channel. Don't forget to like and subscribe. It's Rob here. Today we're going to be looking at the Wilkes USA petrol pressure washer. It's the TX625. I'll quickly run through the specs with you. It's got a seven horsepower four stroke engine. It does 3,950 PSI peak output, 3,200 sustained output. It's got a 12 litre a minute flow rate and that's about it. We'll, I'll show you around the machine and I'll give you a short demonstration as well. Right guys, so this is a machine, the Wilkes USA TX625. Got your engine here, seven horsepower as I said. Full start, got your on off switch here. Throttle and choke here as well. You've got your, at the back, you've got your pump. That's your connection for your water. Now included is this detergent hose, so you can actually connect that onto your pump here and put that in a bucket of detergent and that will allow you to add soap for your, uh, for your water stream. I don't tend to use this, <coughs> excuse me. I, I actually use a snow foam um, gun attachment. A review of that will be coming later. You have here, the, this is your line to suck up water with. So you can attach it straight onto there. And you can put this in a barrel of water, wheelbarrow, wheelie bin, whatever. A lot of people use this for the reason of you haven't got a high enough flow rate with your water supply then you can use it as a buffer tank to maintain that high flow rate but you can also just attach your garden hose onto there as well no problem now I'll say a quick thing you get some accessories with it your PCFE tape various couplers, reducers, another coupler here. You also get with it is this, this is what's called a mouse. You have the forward facing jet and rear facing jets and this is used for drain cleaning. So what you would do is you would attach another hose onto the end of your gun instead of your solid lance and then you would attach the mouse onto the end of that hose and you'd feed that through the drain and pull, pull your trigger and that would allow you to clean your drain out. Now as someone who does this for a living in an industrial capacity I'm licensed with the Water Jetting Association and I can say mousing can be extremely dangerous so I don't recommend it but it's down to you I probably won't do a proper tutorial on that just because of the dangers look at water jetted injuries and you'll see what I mean so as I briefly showed before you got your lance here you've got quick connect on the end I've got a turbo nozzle on it at the moment that gives you a circular circular rotating spray and that's good for cleaning wide areas. Now you also have your other nozzles. Let me just Now this plate is meant to sit on there like that, but unfortunately mine came off pretty quickly, but instead of returning it I'd already used it, so I'll just weld it back on at some point. 
now you get your various nozzles with it so you've got your very narrow spray this is like a needle point then a 15 degree narrow spray and then a wide spray a 40 degree low pressure spray and an 84 soap nozzle should use that when you're using the soap injector so i think i think that's about it all that's left is to give you a short demonstration so i'll just show you a quick quick go through of the setup i'm using a wheelbarrow with a hose feeding into it and then my drill hose in that as well sucking it off to use that as a buffer then got the machine set up here i'll be going through all the different nozzles with you just so you can see what they're like a point i forgot to mention is this hose is it's a little cheap it kinks a lot and can be a pain so one upgrade i would get would be to get a better hose maybe on a reel but for the price which i forgot to mention was this is 300 pounds so for the price you can't complain when a karcher electric power washer will cut you a hell of a lot more so anyway enough of me talking on to the demonstration So as you guys can see that it has cleaned that slab in no time and it has done a really good job on it. So you compare that to the surrounding slabs, you can see how good it is and it's even got the moss off. So that's the turbo nozzle. What I will do now is I'll run through all the other novel nozzles in one demonstration from from the small itst angle to the wide itst angle uninterrupted
so as you can see these are close-ups of all the different ones going from the pencil jet a bit wider and getting wider and wider all the way up to the soap jet which as you could see didn't do anything so they're all your different patterns but as you can see they're nothing compared to the turbo nozzle which will just obliterate them I'll do a close-up patch now of a uh, of the turbo nozzle so you can see it so as you can see the difference between the turbo nozzle there and all the other nozzles there's no comparison the turbo nozzle will clean a big area quickly and properly whereas the others you'll be there forever but they do have their uses I tend to use the more wide angle ones for uh, washing down and stuff to get rid of your excess water I'm also looking at getting a mud sucker to suck up all the excess water so stay tuned for that review anyway I'll just clean this area now to get rid of the marks and I'll show you that as well As you can see there, it just does it so quickly and properly as well. So, highly recommended the turbo nozzle. If you're doing a very wide area, patios and such, you can also get what's called a surface cleaner, which I am looking at getting. So, again, stay tuned for that review. And that will do a 15, 18 inch area all in one go. It has a set of rotating nozzles on it. So, right, anyway, hope you enjoyed that demonstration. Alright guys, thanks for watching my review. And I just want to take a quick note about safety. Pressure washers, they're not a toy. Never point it at anyone, or at your feet, or anything like that, because believe me, it will do damage. A hundred PSI is enough to pierce your skin, so if you don't believe me, have a look at the images online, you don't want that. So, normal PP rules apply, gloves, I wear wellies with steels in, you can get special dressing boots, but that's for more higher power professional use like a wear at work and face visor and stuff like that okay so like subscribe and i'll see you next time thanks guys